welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a DIY, you guys. Um, a lot of you know I've been working on this tray. Um, you know, you've seen me do all of that and uh, put this gemstone. No, you didn't see it. Did I put the gemstones in the front? But guys, I'm going to be working on this DIY. And actually, you guys, if you remember, um, thank you to all my new subscribers too. But if you guys remember when I did uh, the ottoman over, I put this uh, piece of fabric, the leopard skin looking fabric on it, and I had this piece left over. So I had it in my cabinet for a very long time, and I kept saying, I know it's something that I can do, revamp, or use it for something, because I don't like wasting my money. You guys know I am a minimalist. Um, might not look like it, but I am. And y'all, excuse the hair, but this is real, real life here. Um, y'all know what you're gonna get on this channel, but I've gotta wash my hair. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you guys along. So my whole idea today is to put this fabric, this print here, pretty leopard print, inside the inside. Cause I don't know if you guys knew, but I think I told you, I went to the store, to Michael's, looking for the mirror for, to, for the insert, the one with that's beveled, did not fit. Went to Hobby Lobby, the biggest one that they sell, did not fit. Um, I'm not going to go get no special glass made for this. Um, I'm, I'm good. So what I'm going to use is this tray, you guys. Even if I put a mirror, it's just going to be bling. Um, I'm still into the bling, but I'm trying to minimize some of the bling. So I think this will be a good candidate, a good uh, situation for this. Because this is really a catch-all tray where people can throw their keys and stuff in. So that's what I'm going to do today. So guys... All you have to do in a situation like this is, oh, I got one of my little things here. But all you have to do, what I did was flip this over, and as you can see, I have a drawing here. So if you wanted to, you can even you can even use a razor blade, but just make sure it's even, and then it's cut straight on both sides. Make sure the side that you're going to have flip meeting the other side. Make sure it's even. So guys, you can use this. Just cut. Just trace it, rather. You can use that or you can use the scissors. So today we're going to use the scissors. So basically, I'm just going to cut along the area here with some really sharp scissors. Because this fabric is kind of thick, you guys. So just going to make sure that it's even. Make sure you keep it even. Cut along. The side that you uh, traced with a pencil. That pencil that I use, guys, is actually like uh, for carpenters. As you guys know, my husband works construction, so I can get a lot of get a lot of things. Okay, so let's see. You just keep cutting, keep cutting like a half of a circle. You know, half of a moon. That's what you're doing. All right, you guys, so I have that cut out. So now I have these two pieces. And you see how, if I cut this in the middle, they're both gonna meet each other. So I, I can glue it to the inside. So guys, I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like after I glue it to the inside, okay? So give me a few minutes and we'll be right back. So you guys, I'm just gonna add some of the E6000. You guys, you can find this at Walmart. I was lucky and found this at my local Walmart for $2.77. Yes, and this is the big one. So I'm actually just adding the glue here all over, as you can see. And I'm going to, um, where's the top so it doesn't fit everywhere? I'm going to add my size. Get it in there as good as I can. So you guys, I'll be right back after I work on this. All right, guys, I am done. With a little bit of effort, I am done. So I actually just have to pre keep pressing it down, but I think I'm going to lay a book on top. But you guys, this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, it is done. I know it looks like there's a space in the middle, but that's only because it has to be pressed down together. So you guys, tell me how you like that. I think that turned out very, very nice. 
And guys, like I said, we're gonna be putting our keys and stuff like that in here. So that way it doesn't get scratched and I don't have to worry about, um, you know, it getting all messy and stuff and I gotta keep wiping it because there was glass in there. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this little um, uh, DIY here. Stay tuned for more because I have plenty more to bring you. Just trying to spruce up some little things. Like I said, you guys, you can shop your home, find some new things to do instead of going out and spending some money. And that glass, that saved, this saved me at least five or six dollars. So I'm just saying. So guys, I hope you enjoy. Oh, and let me show y'all a new addition to the house. Y'all, I'm so happy about this one. I'm so happy about this one. So don't be trying to look around because there's a lot of things that's changed because we're trying to get out of here. But anyway, you guys, look what I got. Look at what we have here. Y'all, I got my fiddle leaf fig. I'm so, so happy about it. So you guys, the next thing you'll see is the fiddle leaf fig in this natural um in this natural state that it is leaves shine more a little bit more shined up and it will be going in a pot that i already had uh in the garage and i'm gonna paint it white so guys i hope you enjoy this diy today so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that you guys have a very blessed day and i'll see you in my next video everybody be blessed and take care of yourselves bye i'm trying to get some good light in here Okay, there we go. You guys take care and be blessed. Bye-bye.